Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will demonstrate how to migrate data from one cluster to another. This is a pre continuation of my previous video. So if you are unfamiliar with Valero backup, I recommend watch my previous video before proceeding. I will provide the link in a description as well as I button. So this is my AKS cluster, AKS demo cluster where I have deployed a Postgre database vote application, uh, Redis DB and result application. Now I am going to create one more AKS cluster and I am going to migrate this data from this server to new server. So let me create new cluster AKS demo one. So now deployment is succeed. Let me connect the AKS demo one. <coughs> yes, now the AKS demo one is configured successfully. Let me quickly check. So now here AKS demo is my cluster one where we have deployed a multiple application and this is a new cluster and inside the default namespace I do not have any application. So first of all we have to install the Valero backup in demo1 cluster or cluster2. So let me first install the Valero. So for that I need to first set up some predefined variable. After that, I want to run this Valero install command. So again, if you are unfamiliar with Valero, I recommend to watch my previous video before proceeding. So Valero install successfully on cluster 2 so let's quickly verify so here now you can see the Valero install is successfully installed now here in the backup storage location it is showing unavailable so let's quickly first fix the issue so okay so storage account name we need to copy from server 1 so let me quickly check okay so go here and give the name so now it's available and a snapshot location is also available so meanwhile let me first restart the Valero backup Valero pod to make sure everything install everything all uh, to make sure all the locations are available so let me quickly check here and here you can see now everything is everything looks good so quickly go to the backup and uh, here you can see the old backups are available so okay now if you go to here in AKS cluster 1 and in AKS cluster 1 you can also see in the backup there are three backups are there and that backups are also available in a cluster 2 so you can access that backup from uh, which is created on cluster 1 so now what I'm going to do here I'm going to create a new backup from cluster 1 and that backup we are going to restore into the cluster 2 so let's start let me clear the screen and let me change the context So you guess demo and now let's create a backup so Valero create backup 
Valero backup. create and here I'm going to create a backup so let's give a name uh, cluster one and namespace is default so let me quickly let me press the enter and here you can see the backup request is successfully submitted so let's quickly check a log And here you can see the backups com backup completed. So let's quickly verify. So go to the cluster one and go to the backup folder. Select all namespace and here you can see the cluster one backup is successfully completed. Now go to the cluster two and make check the cluster one is available or not. Yes, you can see here the now the cluster one is also available. So let me do the restore activity. So here you can see currently in the default namespace, there is no application is deployed. So now let me restore uh, the data from backup. So before that, first we have to change the context. AKS demo one clear. And here we are going to use the restore command. So Valero restore Valero restore create now give the name of the restore file so here I'm going to use cluster 2 and from backup so from backup is my cluster 1 so my backup name is cluster one. So cluster one. Now restore activities, restore request is successfully submitted. Let's quickly verify. And here you can see the restoration is start. So currently all the uh, nodes are running and pending. So this is my cluster two. So go to the stateful set. Stateful set is also available. Go to the volume. So here you can see volume is also restored. So this is a simple way to migrate data from one cluster to another using the Valero. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.